Um, hey YouTube, so today guys, we have this article that came in from a CNN interview with the Pokemon company's Tetsuku Iwashiro, he's one of the main guys at the Pokemon company basically, and he wrote this kind of interesting article, he talks about the future of the Pokemon series, he says that there's still much more to discover, which means they still have a lot more ideals and how to expand the series, so which I guess is kind of good news at saying the series is not over yet. Because there's been a lot of entries, so, I don't know, that's good. He talks about maintaining a balance of familiar, familiarity and innovation. It's important, I definitely do agree with that. I just wish that maybe they had more innovation and less familiarity. I, that's my opinion. I think, I think the series needs a little bit more innovation. Before I continue, one, one, one example could be a new XD Gear Darkness Pokemon Coliseum, you know, story. HD Wii U game. That would be that's what I would be looking for, because those are the probably the most innovative things they've cr created, in my opinion, since red, blue, and you know, green. We didn't get green and yellow. Yellow in the United States, green in Japan. So that's what I think. Then he talks about how you really want to balance the franchise success and longevity, longevity, long longevity. Okay, that makes sense. Because he wants to stick to the core of the franchise, the collecting, battling, and trading aspects while at the same time taking advantage of new technologies and the evolution of the hardware to expand on the aspect of communication. Yep. One thing I do have to comment on about communication in Pokemon games is if you guys remember in Black and White Black and White Black and White Two I believe, they had something called GTS negotiations. You guys remember that cool feature where you can like trade with people real time, like random people you didn't know? And for some reason in um, Pokemon X and Y they got rid of that. I don't know what the hell they're thinking right now. Why would they get rid of that feature? And so they put in Wonder Trade. I'm like, but honestly, I I, I want to like trade. I mean, GTS negotiations was very very helpful, you know. And now all they have is Wonder Trade. Honestly, we all, what, what do you guys think is better, Wonder Trade or GTS negotiations? And, you know, I really believe that GTS negotiations is a very cool feature. I don't know why they got rid of it. You know, I just wanted to say that for the community communication aspect. And they say at the bottom here, Pokemon Universe is incredibly fun and diverse and like the world we all live in. Continues to surprise and excite us. Yes, I do agree with that statement. You know, hopefully in the next Pokemon game they really just knock it out of the park. You know, give us more post game content and you know increase trading features, you know. They it will be a really good game, you know. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thank you and bye.